This is what you have to do when the butterfly valves don't close all the way. It does slow down flow, but when everything's tight, the pressure's the same. You have to relieve the pressure. So, we've got this cracked open. <laughs> so I can start putting plugs in there, I'm going to get a little wet. Right, about got this wrapped up. This was fun because those butterfly valves did not close completely. But uh, these regulators are all disconnected so it's just can uh, flow 100% through those. Got everything hooked up over here. On the outside you can just switch it over. The EFT comes to a stop. Delay switches over to the other contactor. That's going to start up. There it goes. Now the other pump's running. Pretty much got this licked. I had to make sure to keep this cable up here. You put the, uh, this is my control uh, for that. This isn't high voltage, this is 5 volt logic level for that. And if you let that cable get near the contact, it's throwing some crazy interference. So it seems to be, it seems to be working good now. So one more time, I'm going to switch this over to uh, pump one now. Watch the sequence. Stops the VFD. Switch that relay. It's going to be a little delay there. Shut it down. Start that back up. Pretty much good to go. Wires are secured. Indicators are all finished. This just tells me the contactor position, not whether the pump is running or not. This is just a power light. Train the maintenance guys on what to do with that. Other than that, usually nobody comes out here. This stuff don't quit very often. So. But it's nice to have the pressure back under control back to 80 where it's supposed to be. There's not very much demand. You know, the... It's at 460 volts, but 2.5 amps, 2.6 amps. I've seen it all the way down to like 1.8 uh, when there's probably not very much flow. I'm gonna kick all the way back down, so... I'm, I'm, I know that's a lot less than what it was. See, it's varying there. It depends on the flow of the building. But I know when that thing was just deadheading to limit the pressure and the motor just ran balls out all the time. Bet you that was over 10 amps all the time. So definitely gonna get a savings in electricity. Sweet. I love it when a plan comes together.